Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So my name is Alice for you guys who are new and I love to create studio type vlogs. Ones where I'm updating my Etsy store where I sell stickers and hopefully cards and more art prints and like that in the future. And if you guys aren't following me, my Instagram is AliceBoatCreates. I post a lot more updates on there and you guys will see more of the art that I'm talking about. So anyways, today it's been a little bit of a while since I've been back on YouTube and um, I think it's been like two weeks since I've filmed but life has been a little bit hectic and I can't wait to tell you guys about why in the future. It's just a lot of these things are things I'm working on and I don't want to tell you guys about them until they've happened. <laughs> but it's going to be very exciting to tell you guys about them in the future. Uh, so anyways, I'm sorry I've been slacking on YouTube a little bit. But today I was really hoping to show you guys how I create my mood boards. So what I mean by that is if you guys do follow me on Instagram, you'll see a lot of these fashion, coffee, food kind of style pictures that I paint. And I get a lot of inspiration from Pinterest. And what I like to do sometimes is um, create a mood board for the kind of theme, aesthetic, and like looks that I'm going for to help me come up with new ideas. So hopefully this links into me creating some new content for my store. I'm really hoping to come out with some more fashion prints and fashion and food related stickers and everything but like that. You guys will see that I'm talking about that a lot on my Instagram lately. So today I'm just really trying to put that all into a mood board. So I hope if you guys could join me, <laughs> what we'll be using today is the app Pinterest. I'll be using my iPad. I'll be just screenshotting those images and then I'll be putting them into the app GoodNotes. If you guys don't a lot of you don't have the app GoodNotes, please let me know in the comments below and then we can always use an app like Procreate or something like that next time. But GoodNotes is usually where I like to create my mood boards so I can write notes and everything like that. So with all of that, <laughs> let's finally get started with today's video. Um, I really hope you guys can join me and let's create some amazing mood boards. guys so starting off I go to Pinterest first and as you can see I'm just scrolling through and picking all my favorite um, photos that I'd like to use for my mood board I love a lot of coffee photos um, I love a lot of fashion I particularly love this one I love the pose that that girl was doing I actually think I'd like to paint it someday it was so pretty um, and I also liked a lot of the I guess baking type ones that have a lot of flowers I love seeing these cakes nowadays I have like flowers or edible flowers on them and leaves and everything like that i love the earthy nature feel with baking and i also um chose a lot of ones with the uh what's it called hair clip i love when the girls have their hair clipped like that because i actually used to wear my hair a lot like that in elementary and i love that it's like made a comeback so once i have all the pictures i will crop them all um to the size that i'd like to use them for my mood board so it doesn't take too long i just go and crop all my favorite ones i love this photo too the blue was just so pretty that makeup is wow Um, and this is just an extra step that you don't have to do if you don't have the app Procreate. But if you do have the app Procreate, it's basically an art app. And what I do is I input a photo that I like and then kind of erase the background so that I just have the part of the photo I wanted. So for this example, I just really wanted the hand with the nails. So I just erase the background. This took me a little while, so I didn't do this for every picture, but just a few of my favorites that I wanted to stand out a little bit more. Um, I believe I also did this one for a little coffee cup as you guys can see in the next clip here and um, that one took me a little while to erase as well and I did it for like one more fashion picture so I didn't erase the background for many it was just a little extra st step that you can do besides just cropping your photos so now that I'm ready I go into the app good notes and I start placing down my pictures so which ones I place, place first are the background kind of photos so those are like usually scenery photos um, house decor some of the larger pictures, this one's of coffee, like close up of coffee that I really liked. And then I just kind of start placing the pictures where I think they go best. Um, honestly, I wasn't sure, so I was just kind of playing around with all of them. I changed it a little bit um, at the end. But I try to just really coordinate the colors and the moods with each other. So keeping the blues kind of in that section, the coffee kind of dispersing it across the page, and keeping the fashion prints where I want to see them. So this usually takes me a little while, but this is kind of the fun part where you can play around. And now I'm adding all the little pictures that have no backgrounds, and this one was a lot of fun to add. Um, I kind of did a pencil drawing in the background, like a pen. I used the white pen to just draw, I guess, a shape in the background of this picture and I really like how it turned out so I did that for a few of the other pictures that didn't have a background so I could add them on top of these line shapes. And 
and I also deleted a few of the pictures that I felt were crowding it up a little bit too much. And then I started writing a few quotes and notes. So here I'm writing, wear clothes that matter, as um, this is kind of a fashion mood board. And then I just I couldn't think of another quote, so I just wrote style and I added some little hearts. And for the rest of the mood board, I just added a few little shapes here and there that I thought would make it a little bit more pretty. So here you really have it. This is how my mood board turned out. Um, I really hope you guys followed along and made your own mood board. It's a lot of fun to do and I think really helpful for anyone who likes to paint. Thanks for, so much for watching and I'll see you guys all in my next video. Bye! Angel boy, don't say that. Never gonna stand a chance. Heartbreak like a sad romance. Sad that you never come back again. Been three days, now you're back.